At Audi, we design our vehicles at the intersection of luxury, technology, and usability. Giving the driver a more comfortable and stress-free driving experience is at the heart of what we do. And the new Q7 offers an extensive list of driver assistance systems, many of which are completely new. All Q7 models are equipped with a PreSense basic package. If an unusual or emergency maneuver is detected, the system will begin closing the side windows and sunroof, engage pretension safety belts, and prepare the brake system for quicker response in order to help minimize the effect of a collision. Taking it further, PreSense Plus implements the functions of basic and adds a range of additional features as the vehicle gets closer to a possible collision. When a hazard is detected, warnings are enabled and the brake systems pre-charged. Then the vehicle will initiate a one-time brake jolt as an additional warning to the driver. If collision becomes unavoidable, the system will initiate full deceleration. PreSense Rear adds similar capabilities of BASIC when rear sensors detect a possible collision. Then there's PreSense City. Under 25 miles per hour, if an obstacle enters the Q7's predicted path, it will automatically come to a complete stop. Another new system aids in preventing the phenomenon known as overcorrection. In an evasive maneuver, Collision Avoidance Assist detects the obstacle in outside lanes. It then assists the driver steering, helping to avoid the obstacle while staying in control of the vehicle. Other assistance systems work even when the Q7 isn't moving at all. Systems like Turn Assist, which works by sensing oncoming traffic when stopped for a signaled turn. If the driver begins to go and sensors determine traffic will not stop in time, the Q7 will stop itself from entering the traffic's predicted path. Backup Assist detects oncoming traffic from either side and will notify the driver with a sound and brake jolt alert to help avoid collision. Likewise, Vehicle Exit Assist helps prevent accidents when exiting the Q7. Radar sensors look for oncoming traffic and if detected while the door is open, the system warns the driver or passenger by flashing the LED strip inside the door trim and sounding an alert. Other systems can scan the road ahead to give the driver better information than ever before, like traffic sign recognition, which scans speed limit and other traffic signs and displays them on the head-up display and instrument cluster, and night vision assistant, which uses thermal imaging to display pedestrians and large animals in the instrument cluster, oftentimes before they're visible by our own eye. One of the most exciting new systems we've added in the Q7 is Traffic Jam Assist. Combines automatic acceleration, stop and go, and for the first time, steering guidance. Across the board, the new Q7 is a benchmark in technology. And nowhere is that more apparent than its amazing and intuitively designed driver assistance systems. The available Audi Side Assist uses rear-mounted radar sensors to help detect vehicles located in your blind spot or approaching from the rear. Approximately 10 seconds after the ignition is turned on, lights in the exterior mirrors will turn on briefly to indicate the system is activated. As a vehicle approaches from either the rear or the front, a warning light illuminates in the housing of the mirror to help alert you to the presence of the vehicle on the left or right-hand side. The brightness of the side assist system can be changed through the MMI. Press the driver assistance button, select settings, and then side assist. Adjust the brightness to the desired level. The system can be turned off in the driver assistance menu by selecting individual, the edit list icon, and then deselecting side assist. The available exit warning system works when the vehicle is stationary. If a door handle is pulled while a vehicle is approaching from the blind spot, the warning strip on the door will illuminate. The light in the mirror housing will also illuminate, alerting the approaching vehicle. The resistance of the door opening may also be increased to help prevent it from opening.
The start-stop feature is designed to increase fuel efficiency while decreasing the overall amount of exhaust emissions by turning the engine off temporarily when it is not needed. The start-stop system is automatically activated when the ignition is switched on. The start-stop off switch indicates when the system is on or off. When the system is turned off, a red bar illuminates. When the bar is dark, the system is on. Certain requirements must be met for the system to operate. The driver's door and the hood must be closed. The driver's seatbelt must be fastened. The transmission must be in park, neutral, or drive. The steering wheel must not be turned. The vehicle must have been driven faster than two miles per hour since the last time it stopped. A trailer must not be hitched to the vehicle. With all criteria satisfied, the system will operate as designed. When stopping, press and hold the brake pedal. The engine may shut off at any speed below 14 miles per hour while the brake pedal is applied and may restart before coming to a full stop. The start-stop indicator light appears in the instrument cluster once the engine has shut off. The tachometer needle goes to the ready position. When the driver's foot is lifted from the brake or if the steering wheel is turned, the engine will restart. If the start-stop system has turned off the engine and the driver unfastens the seat belt and opens the driver door, the start-stop system will be turned off, the engine will turn on, and the transmission will be placed in park. It is recommended to turn the ignition off when away from the vehicle. Various conditions can affect whether the system activates, such as exterior temperature, interior temperature, inclines, elevation, engine temperature, and battery charge, for example. If conditions do not allow the system to activate and the engine remains running, the indicator will turn white and have a diagonal line through it. Multiple short stops may result in deactivation until the vehicle is driven more than 10 seconds above 18 miles per hour. With proper operation, the start-stop system can help increase fuel economy while reducing emissions. Cruise control helps maintain a desired speed above approximately 15 miles per hour by automatically accelerating or braking as needed. A cruise speed can be set while the vehicle is stationary and then activated while driving. To pre-select a cruise control speed, tap the lever up or down. The chosen speed will appear in the instrument cluster. With the vehicle running, pull the lever toward you to switch the system on. The cruise indicator in the instrument cluster will show three dashes if no speed is currently set. To activate the pre-selected speed while driving, pull the lever toward you. Or to set the current driving speed as the cruise control speed, press the button on the end of the lever. To increase or decrease the set speed without using the accelerator or brake pedals, tap the lever up or down to the first detent for one mile per hour increments or to the second detent for five mile per hour increments. To continuously increase or decrease speed, hold the lever in the up or down position until the desired speed is met, then release. To change the set speed after accelerating or braking, press the button again. Cancel the cruise control function by either pushing the lever away to the first detent or by lightly tapping the brake pedal. Resume the set speed by pulling the lever toward you. To turn the system off completely, push the lever away from you to the second detent position. The indicator light will go out and the previously set speed will not be stored. <laughs>